What is deliberate practice? One of the biggest mistakes that people make with Erickson's theory of expertise is that they assume that all you need is 10,000 hours of practice to become an expert. That's not what Erickson, Kramp, and Teschromer actually said. What they actually said was that you needed 10,000 hours of deliberate practice. So what is deliberate practice? Deliberate practice is a type of practice that has five key characteristics. The first characteristic is that deliberate practice is highly structured. It's a planned practice session, so you're not just free forming, but you've actually got a structured environment. Part of that structure includes making practice very specific and relevant to what you are trying to learn. Another key component is that you target weaknesses. A big mistake a lot of athletes make or performers is they practice the things that they're already good at. In deliberate practice, you target your weaknesses. Another key aspect of deliberate practice is that performance is monitored. You're tracking to ensure that learning occurs. Think back to the retention test that we've already discussed. Last of all, deliberate practice is effortful. It's not something where you're just sort of going through the motions, but at the end of deliberate practice, you should be exhausted. You've given it at all. So to become an expert, it's not just 10,000 hours of practice, it's 10,000 hours of deliberate practice.